I don't hate anybody. I don't have a great Catholic house. We don't hate anybody. Not anybody in the world. Because we are here, t as we are here today, because the Republicans in the House are paralyzed with hatred of President Clinton, and until the Republicans free themselves of this hatred, our country will suffer. You, you hate the president, Madam Speaker. Because I, don't, I don't Collins, hate anybody. Representative Collins, reason I ask. House, we don't hate anybody. Not anybody in the world. Don't, don't Thank you. 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 Thank of gun violence. I think he is cruel when he doesn't deal with the, the, helping our dreamers, the, of which we're very proud. I think he's in denial about the, about the uh, climate crisis. However, that's about the election. This is about the election. Take it up in the election. This is about the Constitution of the United States and the facts that lead to the president's violation of his oath of office. And as a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. Today, the Republican majority is not judging the president with fairness, but impeaching him with a vengeance. In the investigation of the president, fundamental principles which Americans hold dear, privacy, fairness, checks and balances, have been seriously violated. And why? Because we are here, as we are here today because the Republicans in the House are paralyzed with hatred of President Clinton, and until the Republicans free themselves of this hatred, our country will suffer. I rise to, un to oppose these unfair motions which call for the removal of the President of the United States from office, and in doing so wish to point out some differences between the investigation of the President and the investigation of Newt Gingrich. The first principle in our investigation of Newt Gingrich was that at the moment we found exculpatory information, it would be reported immediately to the accused and be made public. The independent counsel knew that the president was exonerated when Travelgate, Whitewater, and Filegate, and he held that information until the hearing, indeed until after the election. This was not fair. Indeed, it is the responsibility of any prosecutor to immediately release, re, um, release information that is exculpatory.